If you watched last night's Anaheim Ducks for Chicago Blackhawks game to see Leo Carlson versus Connor Bedard, you were severely underwhelmed as this was the only time they were on the ice together. And I think it was so short, I can show the whole shift and avoid copyright. Some people are going to look at the stats from this game and be like, Bedard outplayed Carlson because he got a point and Leo didn't. And I'll tell you what, Carlson outplayed Bedard. I know, I'm a biased Ducks fan, but minus the time on the power play Bedard got, I never really noticed him. Now, those power play shifts from him were scary, and you can see why he will be an elite offensive threat for years to come. The Ducks had to respect his shot, which helped create the first and only goal of the night on the power play, as he would come off the bench, bait Vitrano, and dish to Kurashev, who snipes it bar down on the one-timer. And that would be pretty much it for Bedard. As I said, I didn't really notice him. I did, however, notice every time Carlson was on the ice. He was commanding the puck, leading the rush, and making plays. He was one of the best forwards on the ice, which is saying something, because he's playing with two paperweights and Kalorn and Terry, who I'll talk about a little later. Hey, maybe you weren't underwhelmed by this game if you like goalie battles. Dostal made his first start since November 26th, and he was good. He wasn't really tested much, and the goal he let in, he was screened, and it was a perfect shot. But great to see him bounce back after a rough couple of games. On the other end, Peter Mrazek was looking like prime Jaya Shagir, Martin Brodeur, or whatever you want to call him, because he was the only reason the Blackhawks won this game. The Ducks were the better team, but got undone by a hot journeyman goalie and a lack of discipline. Yeah, the lack of discipline continues to be the theme for this team. We thought it was just early season rust and a young team fighting their way, but holy moly, how could you have that many more penalties than everyone else? It's getting ridiculous. We can blame the refs all we want, and I have in past videos, but this team is not disciplined and Cronin needs to fix it somehow. Now, the biggest question is if he can fix Troy Terry, Mr. 7x7 seven seven man, my favorite player, you're killing me. Your first couple of shifts in this game look good, and I thought we were in for a big game from you. Then you disappeared, missing nets and turnover city, and it's been like this all season long. Minus the one game, he got a hat trick. I don't really know what to say anymore. I have said it before, he needs to be benched. And unfortunately, that's not going to happen anytime soon with the injuries we have. Like this is getting depressing. So much talent out of the lineup. And the Ducks just don't have the depth to combat that. Props to Leeson in this one, who has been on the fourth line most of the season, but played an elevated role this game and was our best forward besides Carlson. Also want to shout out Brock McGinn for this hit. This is the definition of crushed. He continues to play well too. I'll tell you what. All that talent out of the lineup makes for a boring game because that's what this was. Let's hope the next game back home versus the Winnipeg Jets is a little more entertaining. The Jets will be coming off a 4-2 win versus the Avs. And all I have to say is, hopefully with these two days off, we can get some bodies back because this game could get out of hand. Thank you for watching and go Ducks!